Hi, I'm Clinton Hahn from Rode Microphones, and today we have Ben Allen. Ben is an ACS accredited cinematographer, and he's done well over a thousand TV commercials as well as music videos, primetime TV drama, documentaries, and feature films. He also does a lot of color grading and sound mixing. Now, Ben, great to have you here. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Clinton. Good to be here. I'm really looking forward to this episode of What's in Your Kit Bag. Quite unusual, actually, I would say almost fundamental, where in this day and age we use a lot of cameras and lenses, which is what we do, yeah. uh, you have quite an interesting collection of kit. So I want to know exactly why this is so important. Okay. I've been using some variation on um, this kit um, on every shoot I've done for the last 15 years, mm. and, um, and it's never had a camera or lens in it. And Great. the reason for that is I use lots of different cameras, whatever's appropriate for the job. And these are the essential tools for me to do my job, whichever camera I'm using. Mm. So it all fits, all in, fits in this backpack, yep. um, neat and lightweight. The first thing that I never want to be without is the contrast viewing glass, the pan glass. Mm. And if you see just about any photo of Conrad Hall, um, the late great three-time Oscar winning cinematographer, he's always clutching one of these. Yeah. And there's a reason for that, because among the other uses for these, it gives you really clear visual information about the location, angle and character of the shadows. Great. And that at the heart of it is really the, um, the, the soul of cinematography, is where you place your shadows and what they look like. Great. The, the next thing is the, the two light meters that I carry. So you've got your light meter there yeah. as well, very similar mm. model. Um, this is my main one, it's a digital one, uh, which is quick and easy to use. Mm. Uh, the backup one is an analog one, which uh, is incredibly reliable and accurate and doesn't require batteries. A backup meter is fantastic because you mm. never have to worry about whether you've got batteries for the backup meter as well. Yeah. It also gives you really objective information. So if I'm, in a, say, in a dark room shooting um, and then looking at the monitor and there's a bright image on the monitor, I, I look around the room and see a soft light and your eyes adjust, yeah. your eyes visually will be telling you different things depending on the circumstance. Right. Um, whereas the light meter is always the same. It's always going to tell me the same information. So there's still merit in using a light meter? Absolutely. Yeah. I think there's um, if anything, there's probably more merit in using a light meter now than there used to be with film. What else do we have there? Um, this is a uh, viewfinder, mm -hmm. uh, what a lot of people would call a director's viewfinder. It's yeah. a great tool for cinematographers mm -hmm. as well because what it does is it allows you to frame up a shot mm -hmm. um, without a camera there. So if I choose a camera position, line up a shot, and I know, okay, I, I'm shooting on 35mm, mm -hmm. then I need the 50mm to execute this shot. So it makes things faster to work on set. Great. All right, next one on the list. This one here is the Rode IXY, um, which one of the easiest ways to add production value to a project is by having lots of high quality original um, Atmos and background effects tracks. There's something that I'm always trying to gather more of. And one of my great frustrations um, over the years has been that um, you often come across the perfect Atmos when you're location scouting. And so you get to a location that you may not even use in the final shoot but it sounds right. So to be able to, to pull out the iPhone that you've always got with you and the iXY and capture that um, while you're there uh, is, is very exciting and satisfying because it's a great way of adding a lot of production value without adding to the budget. Yeah, totally. Okay, cool. So for more information on your work, Ben, uh, where can the audience um, go to? BenAllenACS.com yep. um, or my production company, TheFilmBakery.com. Okay, great. Well, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Clinton. Good speaking to you. And uh, there you have it, another episode of What's in Your Kit Bag. Until the next one, this is Ben and Clinton signing off. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.